Welcome to lecture number 3 of our 40 gate installation series where we install a 40 gate firewall on our network step by step. And today's topic is firmware upgradation of the 40 gate firewall. So in this video, we will be taking a brief look at the different ways to upgrade a 40 gate firewall. We will first look at the manual way of upgrading our 40 gate device by keeping in view the recommended upgrade paths set by Fortinet. We will then enable the remote firmware upgrade feature present in the 40 gate, which I term as the auto way of upgrading the 40 gate, and see how easy it is to upgrade the 40 gate's firmware this way. Finally, we will upgrade to the latest version of the 40 gate firewall. At the time of making of this video, 40 OS 7.0.2 was the latest version available. Now if you like the content of this channel, do hit that like button, subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon to get future video update notifications from this channel. Let's begin. Now before we move on towards the design of our home network and how are we going to deploy this 40 gate device, let's first just upgrade this 40 gate device to the latest and greatest version that is available. Now there are basically two ways you can upgrade your 40 gate device. One is the manual way in which you have to go towards the cloud and download the image and then upload that image to the 40 gate device. Um, and the other way is kind of like the automatic way in which your 40 gig device can actually talk to the cloud and download the image, whatever image you uh, specify, and then install the image. And that is kind of like the auto mode. Uh, but regardless what mode you choose, you have to keep in view the upgrade paths uh, for the 40 gig device because Fortinet recommends that you upgrade your device according to the upgrade path so that there is no data loss um, on your 40 gate device. Now as you can see we are running version 6.4.0 and I'm actually trying to upgrade to uh, 6.0.2. So we go towards our 40 cloud on which I have this device registered and go into support and firmware download. Now here you have four tabs, release node, download, upgrade path, and 40 gig support tool. The first thing that we're going to be going into is the upgrade path. So I'm clicking on upgrade path and I have to select my product. And my product is 40 gig 60E. So first of all, I will select my 40 gig device, which is 40 gig 60E. Mm, where is it? There it is. Okay, so now I will specify my current version that is running, and that is 6.4.0. Uh, 6.4.0. Okay, so there it is. And I'm actually planning to upgrade to the latest version, which is 6.0.2 as of right now. So I'll select that. And I'll click OK. Now it's showing me the recommended upgrade path. The following is the recommended 40 OS migration path for your product. So basically, I'm on this version 6.4.01579. That is a build number. Let me check that. There is 1579. So that is a build number I have. Now, to get to 6.0.2, I would actually have to download 6.4.2, then 6.4.4, then 7, and then 7.0.2 with these specific build numbers. So, if you're going for the manual upgradation, so I know, okay, this is the first next version I need uh, to go towards my, my main version. That is 6.0.2. So I need to download this. Uh, so I go into, I'll just duplicate this tab. And I actually go into downloads this time. And keeping in view what version we need is 6.4.2. Going towards the 6 version. 
and then we have subfolders uh, 6.4 right uh, 6.4 yeah 6.4 this is the folder and then we have um, sub folders here 6.4.2 so going to 6.4.2 and now we can actually find our uh, 48 firewalls image and we'll, we'll hit search if I can and type in fgt underscore 60e so basically 40 gate and the model is 60e so we have these models uh dsl dsl and poe and our is non-poe it's pretty simple uh, so this is the one i would actually download via https and if i were to go on my 40 gate um and log in admin my password and I go into systems firmware and I can actually upload the firmware from the browse and find my uh, 48 image wherever I have placed it and then I would actually go again to the firmware path and uh, download the other one that matters the 6.4.4 and then the 6.0.0 specific build numbers and then eventually i would upgrade to the path i really wanted to upgrade to now i have to tell you here that actually you could actually go from 6.4 to directly 6.0.2 but that is not recommended because uh you will you you could face configuration losses and different stuff so uh fortinet doesn't actually recommend that you should do this but in our case it's, it's a little different because we are deploying the 48 device um and it's new okay so um i could actually and i will actually um up, upgrade it towards the latest version directly because we don't have any configuration on it except from the ip addresses and there it is only ip addresses in the man interface that we configured in the last video so we could actually uh, do that but if your 40 gig device is in production and uh, then you need a specific amount of downtime because your 40 gig is going to restart on every single upgrade that you do um, and it's going to take time to actually get to where it's the version that you really want to go to. Now, the next method is kind of auto. But for that, you must have um, your device connected to 40 care via the 40 cloud. And if that is done, then it's pretty simple uh, to upgrade a device. Uh, let's go into system and firmware again. And as you can see, no firmware available from 40 GAR. Now, this is a problem that actually pops up um, in some of the 40 gig firewalls. To get rid of that problem, we go into, actually, we could go into the CLI from here and type in config system uh, central management and set allow firmware upgrade remote firmware upgrade and enable that and now if I have enabled this I guess it'll work now do a refresh because it is the recommended way uh, for us to actually okay there it is to download the firmware from the 40 guard itself sitting on our Fortinet device and not going to where is the cloud and downloading the specific images that we need. And the other thing, the other great thing that I love about this is that it also gives you the upgrade path in a very neat way. So we needed to upgrade um, to 40 OS 7.0.2. So I'll just click that. And it says that um, the upgrade path is this. So you have to um download and upgrade 6.4.2 that is the exact same upgrade path that we were seeing but when we were doing this manually uh, 6.4.2 4.4 7 and then 7.0.2 so as you can see the path is the same but uh the benefit of using um the firmware management tool inside of 40 gate 
is that you don't actually have to go to the to the website and download the image and then upload the image you know, onto your 48 device and it's pretty simple and makes your life easy but that is only available if you have a 40 care services and connected to the 40 cloud then only then you can do this uh, so so um, we could actually select backup at config and upgrade to this release uh, so let's do that for the time being. So clicking on backup config and upgrade. So upgrading the firmware will cause system to reboot. Are you sure you want to continue? Okay, I'm sure. So it's backing up your configuration and you will see uh, the configuration is over here. It just backed it up. Now it's auto downloading that firmware from the cloud and it's gonna install that image and reboot your device. So it's pretty easy, you see that? So it's pretty easy now uh, because you don't have to go through the hassle of downloading each and every firmware uh, to get to your desired firmware. So now the system is rebooting. Um, so we have to wait a little bit. Okay, so our 40 gate is back after the reboot. And give in my credentials. Now, as you can see, there is some a new feature that are popping up like you have to set up your dashboard and we'll see that later. What does that actually mean by setting up my dashboard? Uh, but first, okay, as you can see, the, the, the GUI has changed a bit. Now we are going towards our dashboard and status. Actually, we don't need to. We only have, we, we already have a current version that we can see and that is 6.4.2. Um, we can also check from that status and here it is so it's now 6.4.2 build 1723 so you see how easy that was to actually upgrade uh, with uh, the firmware management tool inside of 48 uh, but the thing is that i don't actually want to go uh, via the upgrade pad because it's a new deployment i'll be like okay i don't want to actually wait i don't have that much time uh, I just want to go ahead and configure stuff right away. So I would really want a direct upgrade towards um, my desired version. So 40 gate basically gives you that option that you can directly update to version 6.0.2. Uh, so, but it's saying there, there's a warning that's popping up that upgrading to 40 OS 7.0.2 directly may result in the loss of configuration. Um, you can do this or you could actually go to all available firmwares and you can actually, I would say, downgrade as well, the same way you upgrade. Um, so, but it's not actually recommended, but you could be in a case where you need to downgrade the firmware. Maybe you have hit a bug in a specific firmware and you need to downgrade from that. So you could click on all available firmware releases from the 40 gar and you could actually uh, choose whichever firmware you want to uh, install on your 40 gate, either upgrade or downgrade. So uh, the latest are shown over here. So I could upgrade directly to uh, this 7.0.2 and we're going to do that now. I was just trying to show you how the upgrade path works, but it's gonna take some time, especially uh, if your firewall is big. This is a small firewall. Um, so uh, so let's start backup and config uh, and upgrade. Continue. So it's gonna download the 40 OS 7.0.2 from the cloud now and install it, reboot the device, and it's gonna come back online. And I'll see you there. Okay, so our 40 gate is back after upgrading to 7.0.2. So I'm just putting in my credentials. Now, I, actually, I... So there's a video actually popping up. Okay, okay. So basically, I basically love uh, 40 OS 7.0.2. Uh, especially because of the, the the features it gives me for the coloring or the theme of my 48. Uh, but that is not actually the point that I want you to upgrade to a specific version or the latest version. That is because there are bug fixes and stuff over there and new features are added all the time. 
Okay, so this was how you could upgrade your 40 gate device uh, via the manual method and uh, kind of like auto method. And I hope this has been informative for you and I'd like to thank you for viewing.